During the summer months, fishing in the margins can be one of the most effective ways of catching a match winning weight. It also can be effective at any part of the day. In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips and tactics for optimising and catching the biggest weight possible on the day in the margins in the summer months. Hi, my name's Callum Dix and you're joining me today at the fabulous Tunnel Barn Farm Fishery. Now my first tip for optimising the weight you're catching the margins is plumbing up correctly. Now in an ideal world, what I would be looking for when first plumbing your edges is a really steep shelf leading onto a flat shelf. And what you can do is you can fish just at the crease and it won't allow the fish to become behind where you're fishing. Now that's in an ideal world, that's in a perfect situation. You won't always get that, but that's what you're looking for when you're plumbing up initially in the edges. Today, what I'm gonna be looking to do is fish to that bit of cover. So what I'm gonna be trying to do is find a nice little flat spot leading up to a steep bit. And what we're gonna be looking for is to be fishing about an inch to two inches over depth. So, first of all, I'm gonna ship out. Start off plumbing slightly away from where you're gonna be fishing. So if I drop the plummet in just there, it should just sink the float. And then when we're gonna lead on to where we're fishing, it's going about an inch to two inches over depth. And what you can see, that's just a nice steady shelf. In an ideal world, that would lead on to a really steep bit here. We haven't got that today, but it does start to come up as you get towards the cover. But if we fish at this part of my peg, it does really flatten out. And that's what we're looking for. An inch to two inches over depth, and it will allow us just to drag the rig in a touch more if you want to fish a little bit more over depth. But that's what we're looking for. Inch to two inches over depth, nice little flat bit of shelf leading onto a steep bit. And that, if you can fish on that little crease, will catch you so many more fish, reduce foul lookers, and make fishing in the margins very easy. Tip number two. Once you've plumbed up correctly and you know exactly where you're fishing, is picking the correct rig to use. I'll talk you through a little bit more detail in the rig I'm going to use today. To start off with, we've gone for a size 16 ES43 hook. Today we're fishing for mainly F1s um, with an odd carp, but obviously you can adjust your hook and the rest of the elements you use on the rig, depending on how, how big the fish are you're fishing for. That hook, we're going for a three inch 014 MVR hook length line. Now I like a short hook length when I'm fishing in the margins. 99% of the time it's going to be under three foot, two to two and a half foot deep. So a nice short hook length allows you to see every little bite. We're going to be using a little strong bulk. So the float I'm using takes six number nine shot, but we've, I've just strung that out an inch apart of every shot with my little trimmers just at the top of the number nines. The, the main line itself is 018 MVR rig line, so it's quite strong, it's quite stiff just to eliminate any tangles. Like I said before, we're fishing for mainly F1s, so the float I'm using is an MVR Finesse 3. It's got a small wire stem, a little hollow bristle, it's quite short and it sits down really nice and fast and really consistent, which is important when you're fishing for F1s. Above the float, we've got two number nines back shot. The elastic I'm using today is the same elastic I use for all of my F1 fishing, whether I'm fishing in the margins, short on the bottom, shallow, it's the 8 to 11 jaw core. I've been using it for about five to seven years now and I just can't beat it. Every time I try something different, I always end up going back to the same elastic. And then finally, the top kit I'm using is a one piece ghost top kit. It makes playing fish, um, you nice and can control at any point when after you've hooked the fish and most importantly when you come to net the fish the fish come up really close which speeds you up massively. In the top kit we've got one of the new Mava roller bushes which makes when you're stripping the elastic out just a little bit smoother so you lose a, a few less fish but all round the rig's really nice and balanced nice and strong, the right top kits, the right elastic will optimize the weight you catch when you're fishing in the margins for F1s. Tip three is bait choice. Now bait choice for me is probably the most important part of fishing in the margins. Now I've been fishing at Todd Manor quite a lot recently 
and the bait you take is just so important. You can be fishing away and you cannot be catching so many carp, catching lots of small fish, and all of a sudden you change your bait and it'll be like you're fishing a different lake. You'll be catching big carp and you'll be catching really quick. The other day I was fishing meat to, to begin with and I was catching lots of small fish and then all of a sudden I just changed the dead maggots and all of a sudden it was just like a different, a different peg, catching big carp every single chuck. So bait choice is really paramount that you get it right. If you haven't been fishing the venue a lot that you have chose to fish, what one tip I would give is to try and speak to the locals, speak to the guys that have been fishing a lot and try and get as much information as you can. I haven't been coming to Tunnel so much, but I've been speaking to the lads that have been fishing the matches here and they've all said the same. Worms with Pete and Cass have been absolutely brilliant. So today I've got my worms, I've got my casters, and I've got the peat that the worms come in, I've added some water to it to make it like a mushy ground bait. I've added it all together, added some more water to it, and you come up with this sloppy paste with an odd caster and an odd chopped worm in it. Now we've started fishing, I've introduced it with a kinder pot. Now what happens, you get a lovely little cloud come off this as it goes in the water, attracting loads of fish into your peg. And as I've been fishing, I've been catching big F1s on the drop, I've been catching them on the bottom, and to be fair, it's been absolutely brilliant. The information that I've been given from the guys that have been fishing has been spot on. I've potted my sloppy worms in, I've caught loads of big F1s, everything's perfect and I'm having a great day. Tip four, pole choice. Now, it's not so much of a problem today, because we're fishing for F1s here at Tunnel Barn Farm. But a lot of you will know, modern day commercials, the fish are just becoming so big. You can go to a lot of venues like Gold Valley, Varduck Fisheries, and you're fishing for fish in excess of 15, 18, 20 pounds. So my pole choice today is the MVR X Power Pole, which is a brand new addition to the Maver Pole range. It's 13 meters in length and comes supplied with two commercial power kits and a cupping kit. It's so strong and durable, but it's still light and stiff, which makes it absolutely perfect for fishing in the margins and distances up to 13 meters. So if you don't want to break the bank, it really is perfect. Or even if you do have a big expensive Maver pole already, and during the summer months, you don't want to wear it out when you're just fishing at the shorter distances in the margins or short, it really is perfect for the job. So that's my choice of pole today, the MVR X Power Pole. That's four quick tips in successful margin fishing. So if you plumb up correctly, you choose the right rig, the bait choice is correct for depending on what depth you're fishing in and what venue you're fishing at, and you pick the correct pole, I'm sure you're going to have a great day fishing the margins and catch yourself so many fish.